What's good, my little community? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tight. You already know what time it is. Now, let's go. Now, guys, the British singer who goes by the name of Ray is seemingly currently caught in a bit of a sticky situation with her label at the moment. And I'm not gonna lie, it's looking pretty bleak. I'm hearing that she's got albums locked up in a vault i'm hearing the labels being unfair to her and she's crying on the internet it's all going a bit crazy and we're gonna break it down but you already know what you gotta do you just gotta like comment subscribe to keep you up to date every time i drop a banger like this one and hit that note because you ain't in the need so you can be the first to know when one of these videos comes out and without further ado let's get straight into it now i'm sure you're more used to hearing me talk about uk rap artists but seeing as though ray has dipped her toe in with some of the real street niggas of the uk on a number of occasions like kojo funds and young ads i think it's safe for us to claim her on this particular moment now as i mentioned ray hopped on twitter and posted a series of tweets going against her label and she had this to say Hey my dears, so for the last 7 days I've woken up crying my eyes out, not wanting to get out of bed and feeling so alone. These are emotions we usually hide from social media and I've become such an expert at hiding my tears and my pain and I wanted to talk about it today. So I'm so, I'm going to skip this, I'm so sorry but I, I want to get to the other bits. Obama! So then she says, imagine this pain. I've been signed to a major label since 2014 and I've had albums on albums of music sat in folders collecting dust. Songs I am now giving away to A-list artists because I am still awaiting confirmation that I am good enough to release an album. For context, in order for an album to be created, the label has to release money for songs to be finished, fees for producers, mixers, masters and marketing support etc etc. I've waited 7 years for this day and I am still waiting. So now I'm being told if Call On Me does well then I can do my album but there can't be a green light till. Imagine the pressure of me waking up every day frantically looking at my numbers and my stats hoping that I can just make my bloody first album. I know this is the kind of thing I'm supposed to keep behind closed doors but I have worked and waited and hustled and given everything. I have and if I'm going to suffer I am not going to do it in silence anymore now i'm not gonna lie ray dropped a lot of bombshells in there and uh, you know regardless of how i read it you know i take everything she's saying extremely seriously but yeah i can't just read it in a in a monotone voice but let's break down the statements that she's made here now if you didn't already know ray is signed to polydor records which is a subsidiary of universal music so for all intensive purposes let's just say she's signed to universal now according to her she's saying that since 2014 She's been recording a bunch of music. Essentially, the amount of music she's recorded now is multiple albums worth of music that the label is just hanging on to and they don't want her to release it. They don't want to get money from it. They're just like, no. No, no, no. You cannot drop this. And when I initially saw this tweet, I really thought, why? Because from what I could see, Ray has been, you know, doing bits in music. If you look at the stats, she scored nine top 40 singles. Three of these were actually top 10s, with one even reaching number three. Which sounds great on its own, of course, but when you look a little bit deeper at Ray's history, you kind of see that there's a bit of discrepancies there, and I'm going to break it down. You see, when Ray is doing songs with features, those are the ones that seem to do well. They, you know, they get the plaques, they reach the charts, they, they do bits. However, when it's time for her to ride the horse solo and drop her own song, these songs do not even end up charting anywhere. I'm so sorry to say, but I've looked at the stats and they just don't chart or they barely, barely scrape the chart. And unfortunately, you know, these labels, they're numbers people. All they do is look at numbers all day long. So I think they are very aware of this fact. And sadly, it looks like this is just another one of those cases where the label doesn't view the artist as having the star power to carry their own album. And they just don't want to don't want to take the risk and they don't want to take the gamble on her. But just think of it from a label's perspective for a second. If you had an artist... If you owned a label, if you were ever that rich and you owned a label and you had an artist where on their songs with features, the songs were doing numbers, but by themselves, the songs were, you know, for loss of a better word, flopping. You're going to be thinking, well, 
What good is this? What do I need this for? They're basically, and I mean this with no disrespect to Ray, but the labels are basically looking at Ray as ketchup. Look at ketchup in a meal. Ketchup at McDonald's, fire. Ketchup at Burger King, fire. Ketchup at your local calf with the sausage, eggs, bacon and beans and all that good stuff, fire. Exquisite even. Ketchup could make any meal just that 10 times better. But if you ever went to a restaurant and they served you a plate of ketchup on its own, it just had ketchup on it, it was just a pile of ketchup, you would be looking at the waiter like, what is this? What do I need this for? What am I doing with a plate of ketchup? I don't know what kind of herb from Jamaica you'd be smoking, but that is disgusting crap. And sadly, it looks like it looks like that is how Polymer Records are viewing Ray right now. And yes, I'm sure you guys are wondering, you know, well, be that as it may, even if they do view her as ketchup, why would they still keep the music under wraps? Why would they not at least let her drop music and at least see if she can make it work? At least see if she can turn herself from ketchup into a full on Nando's meal. And again, it all just comes back to money, you know? Yes, if Ray dropped an album and it was successful, the label could make a lot of money, a lot of money. You know, she's got 300k followers. She's a quote unquote big name in the UK. But sadly, they could also lose even more money if the album is not successful. And, you know, look at what she said about the label. They have to release money to pay for producers and features and mixers and managers and all this stuff. Promotion, a lot of things go into releasing a single or releasing an album more so than you will ever know if you're not you know in the business or research in the business as i do and so all of that stuff that she mentioned in the tweet these are all the numbers stuff that all the number folks at polymer records they're all they're doing multiple cost benefit analysis when it comes to ray and they're looking and thinking yeah, mate, uh, this don't look good, mate. This don't look like it's going to make a profit for us, mate. Actually, I think they're German, so, you know, they're probably, they're probably already upset with England losing. So they're, just, they're all over the place right now. No disrespect to them, of course. But yeah, they're looking and they're thinking, yeah, this isn't going to make a profit for us. And then they look at the songs that she's already got and they think, yeah, this song sounds great, Ray. But you know what would make it sound even better? If Dua Lipa sung it. No, if Rihanna sung it. Eh? Actually, Georgia Smith sounds like she could sing that. I can imagine Georgia Smith in a little bikini singing this record. And then they just whoop, take that, mail it off to Dua Lipa, mail it off to Georgia Smith. And then they just leave Ray in the dust. And I'm sure that's what's going through their mind now. And I'm sure those conversations have been had. And she's heard them saying this and that. And that's what's got her frustrated. It's like, imagine someone, imagine you made homework. Imagine you made a homework, you bust your ass to make that homework, you stayed up late at night and then your mum comes and she writes your brother's name on it and gives it to him and everyone's cheering for your brother when really it was you that did all the work. You, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to like it. Even though you might have got a little candy on the side to, to keep quiet, you're still going to be feeling a bit, you know, and that, that that's what she's feeling right now. I think the most fitting part is that all this was probably in her contract and she just didn't read it or, you know, didn't get someone to fully look over it to make sure that she actually understood what she was reading. And I get it. You know, you're young, you're excited, you want to be a successful musician. So it's bound to happen. But when it comes to situations like this, sadly, you know, the yeah. I hate to say there's no one else to blame but yourself because I don't know the full extent of the situation. But based on the information at hand, you know. It kind of goes without saying. Now, Ray, my advice to you would simply be, you just need a hit. You need a hit, a proper hit. Something that will have all the UK girls shaking up their bunda and going crazy. Something that's going to bring the summer vibes. You know, I heard that Call On Me song. It's all right. I don't think it's the one. and I, But I think that's what you need to focus on. You just need to make a hit or make that Call On Me song a hit. Pay a TikToker to do a challenge for it or make a challenge up yourself, do something, try and work the record. I know that's the job of your label, but since they don't have faith in you right now, it's in your hands. Even if you want to fudge up some of your own money for promo, you know, if you really want this album to drop, then that's kind of what you're going to have to do. It sounds sad to put it like that, but that is 
the situation right now. And once you have a hit record, you know, you have more leverage because it's like your song's being played everywhere. You're, you're everywhere. The label's like, OK, this could work. Yeah, we could. This is a good run up to for us dropping an album. Maybe we'll have more people checking for a Ray album. But let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Do you think that Ray is getting finessed in this situation? Or do you think that all is fair in music and war? You let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 600 subs. You already know what time it is. You can follow me on IG at LitTaiNT underscore underscore for all your music scene updates. Follow me on my personal at the only LitTaiNT. If you care about what I do, I won't making these bangers for you. I post updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow me on there. Because what else do you do with your life? Absolutely nothing, mate. Stay black, and if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. I bet, peace. Well, you ain't know I can sing.